So I promised people I'm going to do a video saying why they should do computer science. Then I'm going to like say uh, maybe four reasons why you should do computer science so that I make this a short video. Uh, I normally do long videos like 10 minutes or so. So reasons why you should do computer science is diverse. You can be like in any field. For this, you can be in any field. Um, in computer science, infusing with computer science. Like for me, uh, I, I once worked in the psychiatry department. So they were using a VR machine, a virtual machine. They wanted to uh, analyze people with psychosis and delusion, how they behave in certain environments. So that's what I was doing as a computer scientist in the medical field. So you understand that uh, I worked with people that uh, people that developed the, the thing because I wasn't the one that was developing the VR machine, but I was operating it. And um, yeah, I, I, there was supposed to be some adjustments that I, I'm making. I was supposed to make. So and I may okay, fine about that. So I was working in the medical field with computer science. Mind you, I don't know anything about psychosis. Psychology, uh, psychology or psychiatry. I don't know anything about it, but I work there. There are people, friends of mine, that work in the banks. Uh, they work for different different banks. Like uh, there are people that work in finance, so they need people with computer science in the financial, in the financial sector and in banks. I explain this. So in banks, there are people that do analysis. There are people that do software so and different banks have different softwares and have different investment schemes so they every bank almost every bank right now has uh, an app and most of the banks use a facial recognition system every bank right now has a website most banks have uh, online banking I know that for a fact so someone who does an app and someone who does a website are two different people like there are a lot of there is a lot that goes into doing an app there's someone that are that are responsible for the back end there are some people that are responsible for the front end there are some people that are responsible for the cloud part of it like where they store data and stuff so you could be a programmer you could be a designer yes and i have to say this they are designers in computer science because not all of if I'm a, I'm a coder or a programmer, they give me something that we want this to look like this, and they give you that. So, there's diversity in computer science. You can be a designer if you like, uh, can articulate things, you can be in computer science. Okay, I gave you two reasons by now. The other one is that, uh, I think this is number three. A lot of jobs are being automated it's a fact that it's a fact your country may be a developing country meaning uh, you meaning uh, change takes time but imagine if you're in the forefront of the change if you you, you you could be like you if you are in the forefront of change in your country or in your in your area or wherever you host your business there is opportunity for business in computer science or in yes, let me say in computer science and development in whatever because most of the blooming uh, millionaires or billionaires that we know are from the states meaning other countries are using softwares from the states of which if you are from that country yes it's hard it's hard I won't say that it's easy it's hard if you are from a particular country, you could make it. You can make a similar or something similar. Yes, because apps are similar. Let's not lie. The difference between Facebook and Instagram, uh, you know, yeah, you all know they are similar. So you could make it in your own country. So there is opportunity. It's open for business. And it's something that we know for a fact that people are going to be needing for a long time. There were services computer scientists provide are going to are something people are going to be needing for a long time.
there are people who teach online there are people who sell online everything is online once there is an online there is someone who needs to understand how things happen online there's there's someone who needs to understand who needs to be able to make this thing online so you are needed as someone who does computer science there is data analytics there are people there are companies that um, they work with large amounts of data large amounts of data they need the data to be analyzed yes someone who does study statistics knows how to do that but most of them have to have uh, know how to use R it's a programming language look it up it's important uh, and other stuff but it will be advisable because most of the time computer science in the universities or or in the universities at least comes with a double major it's always a double major but the other fun part about computer science is that you could learn it without going to the university if you are going to the if you want to take the the route of freelancing and doing a uh, business in it you could go to the university and do the same thing but the other special thing about it is don't you don't need a degree you could go and do a certificate on amazon and be a programmer with a certificate from amazon and move forward with it there is research in computer science like a lot of research a lot of things need computer science like in the research area like they need softwares they need machines to be there machines work with a certain software it's just that cars today need software to operate so you see how important you are most there are farms that use pre precision farming right now so it needs you as a computer scientist there are machines that use uh, precision um, manufacturing so you are needed as a computer scientist there's an engineer and then there's you so you are needed uh, the fourth thing about it that I wanted to mention was that it opens you up it opens your mind up to wide possibilities a lot you could explore a lot in it you can explore a lot in it and it's still an emerging thing in some countries like for my country in South Africa they are successful ones but we haven't had like a, a billionaire developer or someone who became a billionaire using or a million or, or a, let me say billionaire using uh, programming or using uh, being a computer scientist or developing something i was talking to this doctor who was saying um because i used to work with doctors uh, i was talking to this doctor who explained that they are using for for their medical billing and stuff they are using a certain app application and there's only one app in which they could use for this thing that he was talking about i don't remember it in detail but he was talking about that thing like there's only one app so if some and, and with that it's expensive being that it, there's only one app of it it's expensive so you understand that there's a lot that needs to be done in that field if there's one app you could make another one like similar to this one not the same put in some two features three features and say call it a different name propose it to doctors at an affordable price or at a cheaper price than this one or at the same price people like opinions or uh, not opinions but like um diversity they like to feel like they have choices they are not forced to do something you as a computer scientist provide those choices to them so for me that's another reason like i could go in there are so many more there are so many more uh depending on the successfulness of this video i may just get into details uh with different career paths that you can take within computer science because they're different you can be a programmer you can be a developer you can be a manager you can be an analyst you can be a cyber analyst you can be um different things different things then there's this thing i like there are doctors there's a doctor who 
uh, works in a certain university. I don't want to, I won't disclose it here, but he went to do a master's in computer science after obtaining a doctorate, a doctorate because he understood in most countries, things are still done in a traditional way. Medicine, especially, is still done in a traditional way. So he understood that there needs to be change. Uh, they need to implement more computer uh, related things in medicine to make it more efficient and to make the expensive things more cheaper because things in medicine are very expensive because they are only done by s certain types of companies so you might want to look into it uh, those are the reasons why i believe you should do it uh, look into it there are different types of things Look into Amazon, look into uh, Microsoft, they offer different types of certificates, uh, link to online jobs, uh, you could freelance, you could end the fun part about it, you can always learn it on YouTube, there's a lot of content on YouTube, you could always learn it on YouTube, so yeah, this is me, peace out.